Hello everyone, Mac Guy here. Just thought I would take a moment to show you all how to field strip a Smith & Wesson Model 2214. It is almost identical to the Model 2213. I have mine here, it's 2214. Uh, disassembly is actually pretty easy. First things first, we want to make sure that the uh, firearm is safe, so I'm going to drop the mag. I know that this one is unloaded, but we're going to check it anyway. It's always good practice. And then I'm going to yank the uh, slide back. Nothing falls out. This weapon is clear. Now, Smith & Wesson ships this nice little tool with these firearms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slide, lock it back, and then I'm going to slip this little tool inside here because the object is we want to loosen up the recoil spring retaining nut which is right here I'll show you that in a moment um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let the slide go forward this little tool is the perfect size to loosen things up here uh, if you do not get one it is 1.8 centimeters so it's just this little, uh, this little tool, little piece of plastic. It's perfect. Once the, uh, once the slide is forward and applying pressure on the uh, recoil spring, I'm going to remove the recoil spring retaining nut from the slide. And from that point on, I can slide the uh, slide back. Very carefully slide the recoil spring forward. and out the side of the firearm. I'm going to set this down here, then the slide and the barrel just comes straight off. Make sure you take uh, some CLP, put it into the uh, firing pin area, get it on the slide rails here. Uh, anywhere you have metal contacting metal, that's where you want to put some CLP. Uh, don't put too much. Be be very cautious with it. Um, if you apply too much, you'll get uh, oil coming out the side, and you can kind of see it reflecting on mine. I have a habit of using a little too much oil. Um, it's personal preference. It won't harm anything. It won't affect the performance of the gun, but it can make a mess. So anyway, now the, uh, the fun part begins. We're going to put the slide back on. It just slips on. You can see it's nice, it moves nice and freely. After that, I'm going to take the recoil spring with the pin. I'm going to slide it back in there. Now this, this next step takes a little bit of manual dexterity. We need to move this pin back so we can reinsert this little tool. So it just requires a bit of manual dexterity. takes a moment. It's kind of tough to do on camera too. So I've just kind of moved it back and placed it back where we had it before. And then I'm going to slowly slide the slide forward and kind of wiggle that pin until, uh, until the slide moves as far forward as possible. Then I'm going to take the recoil spring retaining nut and then place it back into the slide, making sure that the, uh, the retaining nut, as you can see, kind of faces back. And then from that point on, you can take the slide back. We're good to go. Have fun.